let's talk about two things that will actually control bitcoin right now and you guys need to be on this because you guys are super confused right now people are asking me should i sell because i'm still in a profit bitcoin at 43500 is still a good price and are we expecting a bigger dump should i sell off or should i even buy the dip because altcoins right now are still at a steal phantom lrc are still super low we were up i think almost 20 percent from current prices and if we do see bitcoin going to 50000 one more time before we dump uh, you guys can get out at huge profits so it's a lot of confusion but i am here in today's video to answer all of those questions to you so there are some multiple events happening right now all over the world that is going to influence bitcoin so remember nothing's going to be financial advice and let's not waste more time first thing you all know that the bitcoin conference is happening in miami okay and these they, uh, this is happening for the past three days and they have multiple events okay so they have different stages uh, there are random people random uh, public figures coming and talking about bitcoin and various events so yesterday there was an event by jack maller so if you guys don't know it's not visible here because the event is already completed but jack maller is the founder of strike strike is a big company that you know uh, does bitcoin transactions and helps bitcoin uh, transactions in el salvador and he's the main person who you know started that whole bitcoin revolution in el salvador so this dude yesterday had a uh, what it announcement on stage where he spoke about his new uh, system where he's planning on starting some kind of new uh, revolution um, about transactions and how it's going to be much more easier so you guys can go search this up go to the bitcoin magazine on youtube and just watch this video it's a very interesting announcement if you guys are actually interested in cryptos but le let me give you a summary of what's happening so if you guys go to his profile he's been tweeting about this for quite some time now he's on a mission where he's going to like integrate you know bitcoin transactions with uh, financial systems and make it more faster and cheaper so that you guys can you know transact bitcoin and some system converts it into money so it's going to be much more easier but the main thing that has caught my eye right now is this dude has been giving out easter eggs if you guys look at this he has been wearing an apple cap okay and not just that he has been even posting random things about apple uh, you can see this video about uh, steve jobs he's done it multiple times so i don't know he is a big figure he's not a small person he is a founder of a mega huge company and this dude might have something coming up with apple so if you guys look at news also all the news channels are talking about it apple is all set to onboard bitcoin jack maller drops possible hints on twitter so there might be an integration i'm not telling there might be an integration where you guys might be able to use bitcoin to make payments through your apple wallet so imagine you guys can just go to a store and pay with bitcoin and apple wallet does all the conversions for you so that is possible i'm not telling that is not possible but something big is happening so i'm not telling you this is going to happen tomorrow or day after because apple is a trillion dollar company it's not something that they're going to tweet about and pump bitcoin to the moon but as this slowly unfolds bitcoin is definitely going to places and that is why i strongly feel in the long term bitcoin is extremely bullish okay like when i say extremely bullish i am so bullish on bitcoin in the next one year that you know you see this entire thing we are in right now okay this entire play out for the past couple of years you you're never going to look at this again okay we are going to be somewhere over here up having our own joy and you're never going to come back and look at this that's why i keep telling you when you are in doubt always zoom out because all this is so negligible okay the entire phase we are in now bitcoin is just at an adoption phase okay people are just starting to adopt people are just getting to know no bitcoin this is more like the internet revolution back in the 90s if i would have come up to you and told you hey man start investing in the internet you guys would have been like nope i'm not going to be on the internet i prefer going out and living life but you see what happened right now okay so we are in that phase right now but in the short term in the short term of course a lot of things are going to happen because of a lot of events coming up so i already told you about the whole jack maller thing apart from that the event is still happening today is the friday they have multiple events happening and this will be like midnight for us when it's happening over there and based on certain talks here based on certain announcements this can lead into small minor pumps in bitcoin maybe one two three percent so you can expect bitcoin going to around forty four thousand maybe forty four thousand five hundred in the next coming couple of hours or days based on what this plays out okay so 
you guys can go here just read this it's pretty interesting it's pretty interesting to know what's happening and the next thing that i of course i keep telling you guys again and again is inflation okay so now we know when the first cpi inflation data is going to come out april 12th okay that is just in another four days we are on the 8th of april right now in another four days we are going to get the inflation data of march okay and this is going to be bad because we all know that uh, fuel prices were all over the place in the US because of the war uh, fuel prices went up inflation is all over the place uh, groceries are super expensive so people are expecting a double digit and if it does cross that double digit if it goes to 11 12 13 percent bitcoin is going to get wrecked okay on the 12th so on 12th we are going to see a lot of market fluctuations so before the 12th if you do see your altcoins if you do see your cryptos at a good profit maybe any profit i would just suggest you to please sell off some i'm not telling you guys to totally sell off because it's always good to hold okay i have my bag that i've been holding for months together i don't touch it at all but if you guys are worried every day you guys keep checking it and checking dumps that means you guys wanted the profit so it's better to slowly take profits because this might uh, not be good on the april 12th and apart from that uh, based on this inflation data the uh, rate hike and the balance sheet shrinkage is going to happen on May 4th. So we just have like a 20 day gap from this to that. So those 20 days we are, we might enter into a boring phase again where Bitcoin is going to move sideways and to make things worse we are already below that 46,000 level. We are below that 46,000 level which is going to make it even more boring. We might go all the way down. Uh, touch this area this area this uh, bottom trend line okay the wedge that we have been following for uh, the past couple of uh, months i should say okay we have been in this entire area for almost three months so we might start follow following that till we you know we move up and again break out of that 46,000 level so it's definitely going to be a boring phase for the next coming couple of months again based on how this news plays out if this adoption happens faster if apple does and down something about bitcoin it is going to be phenomenal okay this entire thing okay that we are in right now this whole analysis this whole trauma that we are in is just going to be invalidated and bitcoin is just going to all-time highs keeping everything aside okay keeping the inflation thing aside and we are just going to all-time highs so I hope this whole Apple, Bitcoin and Jack Mala thing plays out as soon as possible but of course we guys need to be prepared for the worst right so i already told you about how the inflation data is going to play an important role apart from that if you guys are asking me about buying the dip i am still not convinced uh, what it will convince that we are in a dip right now because i have seen worse dips okay and this is definitely not a dip uh, a good buying opportunity if you are looking to buy a good bag would be somewhere at these levels okay when bitcoin comes down and touches uh, the bottom of this line okay so i would say somewhere at around uh, 40,000 or even lower than that okay and I honestly feel a big mega generational buying opportunity is coming in the next coming couple of days because of that CPI inflation data and also the FOMC meeting because on November the next major US election is happening okay and they want inflation down by then to win the election okay they don't want to enter into an election with inflation all over the place and the country falling down so curbing down inflation is going to be a, their first priority and they do not care about taking your bitcoin to the moon so i definitely feel somewhere between may and some october you are going to get a generational buying a generational buying opportunity where bitcoin is going to be as low as 30000 32000 even lower than that so if you guys are actually preparing to, to buy the dip in you know that amount i would definitely tell you to wait uh, preserve your funds till that time but throughout this month i'm definitely going to be bitcoin is just going to be stuck uh, if you're keeping this whole jack maller and apple thing aside uh, bitcoin is just going to be stuck in this range somewhere between uh, so just below 46000 okay so just understand that again 
Bitcoin is still at a good price right now. Okay, forty-three thousand five hundred is still a decent price for where we were months ago. I mean, even weeks ago. Okay, we were at at the thirty thousand range, and right now we are still at a good position. So do consider taking profits. Don't be super greedy. Um, slowly, slowly. You know, just start taking periodic profits at small pumps. Maybe if you see Bitcoin tomorrow at forty-five thousand, just take some profits of your favorite altcoins, and you know, just keep repeating that till you have a good capital ready to buy. bigger dips in the next coming couple of days so that's all we have two major factors one is the entire inflation cpi and uh, uh, fomc data that's going to uh, crash bitcoin or even may maybe move it sideways if we have expectations uh, met okay if the expectation right now is a 50 bps rate hike and if that is met we might move sideways but if not we are definitely going to crash and if this does play out if uh, apple does adopt bitcoin if apple announces something about adopting bitcoin uh, things are going to go huge okay this entire thing is going to get invalidated and we are going to the moon so i hope you guys understood what is happening right now in the market uh, it is a uh, entire situation of confusion nobody wants to get in because they know the inflation data is coming out and at the same time we have uh, positive news like this and uh, the bitcoin conference happening so i want you guys to know decide what are your goals are you looking long term because long term is uh, super bullish for bitcoin but short term it's going to be a very rough patch so that's all if you guys have more doubts queries please put it down in that comment box i hope this video was helpful again we are in the road to 2000 subscribers so please do consider joining the channel and i will see you all in the next video bye